pretty angry and hurt and sad that there, you know, there's no justice being served. A family claims a man got away with murder after a grand jury cleared the shooter who killed their loved ones. Tonight, a prosecutor says they accept the decision from the grand jury. At the center of all of this is Missouri Stand Your Ground Law. So this shooting took place in February. Investigators say a man pursued 34-year-old Caleb Lawson and 44-year-old Jonathan Lutz. This shooting, which killed Lawson and Lutz, it took place after a dispute over $200 worth of firewood. Today, two family members of Lawson say they're angry about the decision. KSHB 41 News reporter Emma James took their concerns to the Platt County prosecutor. It's sickening, really. I don't see how they can just let somebody get away with murder. Not two murders at that. Kimberly Rankin is still grieving the loss of her fiance, 34-year-old Caleb Lawson. Trying to raise my two children without their father is is very difficult and overwhelming. In February, Lawson and 44-year-old Jonathan Lutz were killed after a dispute over firewood. Platt County Prosecutor Eric Zahn says the shooting is a tragic case. Zahn says the men failed to deliver all of the firewood to a man in unincorporated Platt County, which caused the man's son to follow them in a car. When both cars stopped on the side of Highway 9, Zahn says one of the two men threatened the man who followed them, who shot both Lawson and and Lutz. Kyle Lawson says he doesn't believe his brother Caleb was ever going to shoot the man. This is my brother I know of. He's not going to just shoot somebody. So I think he was trying to let him know whatever you're trying to do, I'm going to defend myself. You need to leave. A grand jury decided Wednesday not to indict the man who killed Lawson and Lutz, citing Missouri's stand your ground law and saying the man was defending himself. Zahn says after carefully considering the facts and hearing from a teen witness who was in the car with Lawson and Lutz, the jury declined to indict and he accepts the decision in Platt County. Emma James, KSHB 41 News. Lawson's family members also told us about their concerns about the man's ownership of the gun he used to kill Lawson and Lutz. We brought this concern to the county prosecutor who says he was in legal possession of it.